it's really inspiring because you know we we nerd out for a very specific kind of topic and now we've got others who can relate this is the world solar challenge a gathering of the world's budding solar experts with a need for speed science and sun Nearly 40 teams are racing 3,000 kilometres through the heart of Australia in solar-powered electric vehicles they've designed, but there's plenty of obstacles along the way. We're sharing the roads not only with the world's best, we're also sharing the roads with uh, working road trains up to 63 metres long, uh, navigating cattle grids, roadkill, emus jumping out of the road, uh, fires on the side of the road, uh, heavy winds. Navigating the roads and keeping the vehicle running is a team effort, and some groups have two dozen minds working together. The event also offers a glimpse into the future of electric vehicles, providing an opportunity to test the latest solar cells and tyre technology. All the mainstream electric cars have got components like that that had their genesis here. After winning the last two events, Belgium's Inoptus Solar Team is gunning for a third consecutive title but they have some fierce competition. Unfortunately, we haven't won it before, but you can see the trophy in the background. We have our eyes on it this edition. We're really stressing out the competition. You kind of see their hands get clammy, get a little sweaty. So we hope to win it. Uh, our best position so far has been fourth, but we understand why we've gotten fourth and we've changed the game. So those things that held us back before should not be holding us back again.